the LPS regulations for Wales. The Welsh Government are consulting on four sets of draft regulations for Wales. My LPS journey. This diagram seeks to set out the key steps in the LPS. We have specifically focused on the key milestones of the journey a person will undertake within the LPS. We hope that it will be helpful to people, particularly when read alongside the explanation of the important words and phrases we've included in the Easy Read documents. The draft regulations for Wales provide the legislative framework for supporting the LPS journey in Wales. We will now provide a short overview of the regulations. Draft regulations on who can carry out assessments. There are three types of assessments under the LPS. A medical assessment, a mental capacity assessment, and a necessary and proportionate assessment. The draft regulations set out who can be authorised to carry out these assessments. The draft regulations state that medical assessments must only be carried out by a person who is registered in the UK as either a medical practitioner or a practitioner psychologist. Mental capacity and necessary and proportionate assessments may be carried out by a person who is registered in the UK as a medical practitioner, a nurse, an occupational therapist, a social worker, a practitioner psychologist or a speech and language therapist. Draft regulations about the approved mental capacity professional or AMCP. An AMCP will help to protect the rights of someone who lacks the mental capacity to agree to their care, support or treatment where this involves a deprivation of liberty. These draft regulations will set out what you will need to do to become an AMCP and how to maintain your authorisation. Initial training to become an AMCP must be a higher education course approved by Social Care Wales. We are working with Social Care Wales to develop this. For current best interest assessors, there will be a conversion course available to become an AMCP. There will be a shorter training programme for new AMCPs who have not worked as best interest assessors to take into account their previous training and experience. In order to continue being approved to carry out their role, AMCPs must complete at least 18 hours of further training every year, although not in the first year of approval. AMCPs must have their approval checked every 12 months and local authorities must ensure that there are enough AMCPs in place to support the LPS across health boards and local authorities in Wales. Draft regulations about IMCAs, Independent Mental Capacity Advocates. The role of the Independent Mental Capacity Advocate, or IMCA, is changing under the LPS. Under the Dolls, the role of the IMCA was to gather information and write a report for the person making the decision. However, under the LPS, their role will be to represent and support the person to participate throughout the LPS process and all decisions. They will find out the person's wishes and feelings, find out what less restrictive alternatives there are and keep in touch with the person. Under the LPS, the IMCA may also provide support to the appropriate person. The appropriate person is a new role under the LPS who is there to support and help the cared for person. This could be, for example, an unpaid carer or family member or friend who knows that person and can help to articulate their views, wishes or feelings about any proposed arrangements. Draft regulations for monitoring and reporting. There are three monitoring bodies who will be responsible for monitoring the LPS. Healthcare Inspectorate Wales, Care Inspectorate Wales and ESTIN. Monitoring and reporting on the LPS will give us an idea of how the safeguards are working in practice across Wales and help keep standards high and share evidence to inform improved activities. Health boards and local authorities must provide the monitoring bodies with information about their use of the LPS. There is a list of information they will need to collect 
This is called the National Minimum Dataset, which I'll explain in more detail. The National Minimum Dataset for Wales. Digital Health and Care Wales have been running workshops with health boards and local authorities and other stakeholders to agree exactly what information will need to be collected for the LPS and how to collect it. This work is ongoing, with impact assessments currently being completed by health boards and local authorities. A list of the proposed data items are included in the regulatory impact assessment for the draft regulations and the summary of plans for monitoring and reporting. As well as our plans for monitoring and reporting, we have also developed a workforce plan and training framework. The LPS will have different roles to the dolls. Therefore, the knowledge and skills that staff, different staff need will evolve. Health boards and local authorities will need to work out how many staff they, they, will, they will need to carry out different parts of the LPS. All staff will need training. However, the level of training required will depend on the role that staff will play within the LPS. Training resources are being commissioned and will be provided to responsible bodies to deliver training to their staff locally. This diagram shows the different levels of staff within the LPS. These groups of staff have been labelled alphabetically. Group A are staff who may come into contact with the cared for person who lacks the capacity to consent to decisions that may limit their freedom. These staff will need to undertake training to ensure they have sufficient awareness of the MCA 2005 and the LPS. Group B are managers of the staff in Group A. They will need to undertake Group B are managers of the staff in Group A. They will need to understand when an LPS authorisation is needed and how the LPS works. Group C will be the staff who carry out care, support or treatment as assessments. Group B are managers of the staff in Group A. They will need to understand when an LPS authorisation is needed and how the LPS works. Group C will be the staff who carry out care, support or treatment assessments and write care, support or treatment plans. They will need to know how to undertake the specific assessments required under the LPS. They will need to know when to involve an AMCP. Group D are the managers of staff in Group C. They will likely review the specific LPS assessments and then authorise a decision. They will need to know how to assess the LPS evidence presented and how to monitor and report on the LPS process. Group E are IMCAs. Current IMCAs will need training on how their role differs from their role under DOLS. New staff will need a new training course. Group F are AMCPs. Current BIAs will need conversion training to become an AMCP. New staff will need training. This will be a higher education course which must be approved by Social Care Wales. Individuals in later competency groups may also want to engage with more than one group, particularly as general awareness training is rolled out on an incremental basis. The LPS Funding Strategy for Wales Welsh Government will be supporting stakeholders to prepare for the implementation of the LPS. Over £4 million was allocated to health boards and local authorities in 2021-22 to support the reduction of the DOLS backlogs and the delivery of Mental Capacity Act training. We are planning that our additional LPS funding will work to ensure that everyone has the tools they need to implement the LPS. The key implementation priorities include development of training resources, additional IMCA resourcing, development of workforce plan and recruitment of staff, development of data capacity, as well as additional dolls backlog work, advocacy arrangements and additional training funding. 
The funding is also intended to assist with the transition period. £8 million will be allocated for 2022-2023. Additional funding will be announced for 2023-2024 and 2024-2025 of up to £17 million for each year following the consultation period. If you have any questions regarding this presentation, again, please contact the Mental Health and Vulnerable Groups team mailbox.